Friends and family met to honor and remember Phoenicia Ratliff. Yesterday, the Jackson State University student was shot and killed by her ex-boyfriend, who then turned the gun on himself. 12 News' is Gary Burton attended the balloon release in her honor. The sweetest person you'd ever meet. Those were the words from Suzanne Briscoe, the mother of Phoenicia Radliff, who was kidnapped, then shot and killed by her ex-boyfriend Friday morning. I don't know what I'm going to do now that she's gone. But in honor of Phoenicia, fly high, baby. God got you. Love you, Phoenicia. Hundreds of balloons filled the skies to honor Ratliff and also give those who needed comfort a chance to grieve with all who loved Phoenicia. Yesterday was a lot. I turned my phone off and, you know, today has been better because we, we have been together. You know, it makes it seem as if she's still here with us because we're living off her memories. Phoenicia was a sister of Zeta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated. Her membership intake process coordinator and soror, Camelia Walker, tells me how she can't come to grips with the reality of what happened. She was a very determined young lady. She was a very influential young lady, even to her sisters and even to myself, you know. She never gave up easily, um, and she loved us, you know, just as we loved her. Um, and, you know, now it's just, it's just so hard right now, you know, to even accept this, you know, knowing that she was one of the innocent ones. You know, she was so innocent, she was so sweet, and she was always to herself. For Phoenicia's friends, family, and mother Suzanne Briscoe, more days will come without their loved one, but they are grateful for the time that they did have. Reporting in Canton, I'm Gary Burton, 12 News.